Welcome back, Pentiac Wilderness here, uh, YouTube channel, and uh, our mini-series on solar power solutions for off-grid cabin living. Um, I'm going to be reviewing a different product today that I've been using at the cabin. And, uh, and full disclosure to people watching this channel, um, as our YouTube channel has grown, uh, one thing that we've uh, got is companies often reach out to you and ask you for either to try their product or use their product or whatnot. And typically we don't or haven't um, for various reasons. As we're moving into the cabin more and more and our solar power needs were increasing, uh, we had a couple companies reach out, reach out to us offering to uh, let us try their solar power solutions and, uh, and we chose to. Uh, we've used these products quite extensively for several months uh, in, in various ways and put lots of demands on them. So I do feel quite comfortable with the products I'm using and, uh, and wanted to share that with you guys. Hopefully this helps you, but it also is helping us uh, living in an off-grid cabin. This is a second product that I've been using at the cabin. This is from a company called EcoFlow, uh, again another company out of China and uh, that's been around for a number of years and produces um, eco-friendly solar uh, solutions for off-grid living and van life um, and so this video is going to be a review of uh, the EcoFlow River product. This is a 600 watt and 288 watt hour capacity unit. Uh, it's called the EcoFlow River. Uh, the dimensions of this unit are 6 inches by 8 inches by 10 inches and it weighs about 11 pounds. So I'm going to go through just the, the features of this, this device and, and show you how it works. So the on off buttons at the bottom, uh, you get a pretty bright uh, display at the top here um, and, and this display actually gives you quite a bit of useful information. So uh, it shows you 99 hours here so that's how much uh, runtime the device has and that, that changes based on the demands that are placed on the device. Uh, shows you the charge capacity so right now it's 98 percent charged and then it will also show you the input wattage from a charge from charging and the output wattage in terms of how much uh, power is being used uh, from the device. Uh, you've got a series of different things on the front of this device. Uh, a light that turns on and off and the light has a few different modes to it. Uh, you've got four or three USB uh, ports, a USB-C port and uh, and a, a DC plug over on the uh, so this side here, which is covered with a fairly rugged plastic uh, cover. And uh, so this is the side of the device. Um, so like most of these devices, there's a fan to help cool it. Uh, there's three AC plugs here uh, with an on and off switch on the side. Um, that's fairly straightforward. All right, and then on this side of the device, you have a hard plastic cover, uh, which you flip up. And then, um, so you've got the uh, wall plug-in input here. And uh, this device has something they're calling X-Stream Charge, which basically, as I understand it, allows the device to charge from 0% to 80% in one hour. Uh, so kind of a quick charge. And then on uh, this side, you've got the input for solar charging. And in the middle, there's a button here to reset the device. Uh, and I think that would be used if uh, there's sort of an overload on the device. Um, and they call it overload protection and then the reset button is right there. And for charging this device, uh, I think EcoFlow does make their own solar panels, but I've just been using a department store solar panel uh, that I have on the roof of my cabin. So I'm just going to show how the solar uh, portion plugs into this device. So they have their kind of a unique plug-in here, uh, which is different than any I've seen on any other product. But regardless, it just plugs in here and, uh, and then this cable would go to the solar panel. Um, so you've got the uh, MC4 connectors here which connect into this device and then I have an adapter here that converts MC4 into SAE. Uh, SAE is the type of solar panel I have or the type of cable that comes from the solar panel on my roof and then this polarity reverser is important to convert the solar energy into a type of energy that can be stored in this device. Uh, another really unique and useful feature of this EcoFlow product is that EcoFlow actually has an app. Um, so I use Android, but I think it exists in the iStore as well. Um, and uh, what the app allows you to do is control, well, both uh, look at the status, adjust settings, and control this device uh, remotely. And, and by remotely, I mean like on the same Wi-Fi network that you're in. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's, it's really useful. So for example, um, if you have an AC device plugged into this device and you want that uh, AC device turned off, you can control that from your app. You can also control the DC power on this device and the light. Um, 
and, and look at charging status. So sometimes I'll have the device charging outside. If I want, I can go on the app and just see what charge capacity the device is at. And uh, yeah, so the, the app for EcoFlow is something that I think is a really nice feature and uh, something that I think sets EcoFlow apart a little bit. So I guess like any device, it depends on the demands. Um, so I, the fan I've been using is just a typical household fan. It's not really a low wattage fan. Uh, if I run that fan all night, it will pretty much drain this device. But if I'm using just my computer and cell phones, which is usually what I use this device for, it would be many, many charges over the course of a week or two.